In this video, I will show you how to use ChatGPT without a phone number. And if this video does help you out today, please consider dropping down below the video, leaving the like on the video, and also consider subscribing to the channel. I really do appreciate it. With that being said, let's jump straight into the tutorial. So as you can see, I'm here on the ChatGPT website. Now, what you're going to want to do from here is, of course, click the green sign up button. So what it's going to say, it's going to ask you to start creating your account. Now, you can see it says here, please note that phone verification is required for sign up. So if you're wondering how to actually use ChatGPT without choosing your own phone number, there's a few things you can actually do. So the first thing to do is actually to get a prepaid SIM card. So you can actually find these in your local shops. They look a bit like this. And basically what you can do, you can buy one of these, activate that SIM card and use this to verify your account. Now, if you don't want to do that, there's a couple of other things you can do. And so the first thing you can do, if you actually come across to google.com and on Google, what you want to do is into Google search, you want to type free temporary mobile number and then search for this and what it's going to do is bring up a list of different websites now what you can do you can use some of these websites and you can actually use different numbers on this website so for example this one here which is receive sms you can see there's a ton of numbers that you can just scroll through and use so for example we could try this one now of course some of these numbers would have probably been used to confirm other people's accounts but you can try these and more than likely there's going to be at least one or two on this website that's going to work. So the final thing I want to suggest that you try is if you actually come back to Google and instead of searching for a free temporary mobile number, if you actually put in paid, and then what you can do is you can actually, it's the same sort of process, but these are ones at a cost. So for example, you can see this one, Juicy SMS, you get temporary mobile numbers, which is 0.5 cents per SMS. And it's the same sort of process. You would just go on here and you would choose a number, so for example, if you're in the UK, you would go ahead, select UK, and then you would choose what for, so like WhatsApp. And then what you would need to do is just sign up, create an account, and just pay that small fee to get your own temporary paid number, which of course you would be able to choose to verify your account. So that's a couple of things you can do. So I mean, to be honest, I would just recommend just using your own phone number to verify your account, as it does save a lot of the sort of hassle of trying to get another temporary number. But of course, the, these are just a couple of methods you can do if you're not comfortable using your own phone number. So I hope this tutorial helped you out today. And if it did, I'd really appreciate it if you were to drop down below the video, leave a like on the video, and also consider subscribing to the channel. With that being said, I just want to take a moment to thank you guys for watching this video, and I will see you in the next tutorial.